Very good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to review the Wi-Fi Wall Smart Switch Socket from Moes. It's going to allow us to control a lot of devices that we can switch on and switch off very easily. And we can use it to save some energy. I'm going to explain you my use case and how I'm going to save a lot of energy with this device. Here is the package. Let's see. It's a wall switch. We are going to see how to install it properly. In the packet we have the switch. We have the, S, the screws we need for the installation and the frame for the switch. And we got the instructions. So basically the idea is to replace existing switch with this switch. And not only we are going to be allowed to control the switch wireless from the mobile phone, we can as well turn it on and off from here. This is rate for 16 amps, so we can even connect very heavy duty appliance here. It works with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, the one that has the higher range. Okay, I'm going to install the Moes wall adapter here, so we will be able to measure how much energy I'm getting drained from these devices when they are unplugged okay i have everything in the table connected to this wall and everything in that table connected to that wall so we are going to measure how much energy we can save by automatically turning off all this during the night first thing we have to do and very very important is to switch off the circuit breaker that controls that socket excellent there is no power okay we need to connect the line here and the neutral there and the earth here the problem, I don't have earth here and I'm not going to put it right now. The installation is quite old because it's mandatory to have earth. But okay, how we know what is the line and what is the neutral? I have connected one prop to the window, because it's metal, okay? And now I'm going to touch, touch one of the terminals and see if this one has voltage. So there is a voltage here. When I'm touching this one and now I'm going to touch the other wire and it doesn't have any voltage difference so it means that the one that has the voltage difference is the line and the other one is the neutral so now I know how I have to connect the wires okay now we insert the line in the line now I disconnected the circuit breaker <laughs> Now it's powered, it's blue, we can simply use it like this, and we can hear the relay. Okay, let's install the application. I'm going to go to the Play Store, I'm going to enter a Smart Life, okay, I click on a Smart Life, this is the application we will need. Okay, let's install it, 51 megabytes. Okay, let's open the application. We agree the terms of use. I'm not registered, so I'm going to sync up. Okay, Spain uh, in a mountain at gmail.com. I agree, get verification code. 
Okay, now I have to check my mail. Here is the mail, so 9204455. And I have to set a password as what is set. Go to the application. And now we are registered. As easy as that. Let's add that device. Continue. Okay, we click on socket Wi Fi. Okay, we select the Wi Fi. We have to enter the password of our Wi Fi. Okay, we enter the password and click next. Okay, next. Press and hold the reset button for five seconds. Let's do it. Okay, here is the button. I'm going to press it for five seconds. Four, five seconds. Okay, next. Confirm indicator is blinking. Yes, it's blink. Quick blink, slow blink. Hmm, I think it's quick. Oh, we found the device. Cool. Add device. Device has been added. Done. Are you sure you want to finish? Yes, confirm. Okay, and here we have our smart socket. Now that we have the switch connected, we can turn it on and off from the mobile phone. Okay, we will be able as well to connect it to the Alexa. We can program some timers when we want this to start and turn off. So I'm going to set it to turn off every day. Okay, I select all the days. And this will happen at 1.30. Unless I said something different, it's going to switch off every day at 1.30. This is going to save a lot of energy. We are going to change the name of the switch, so we will be able to control it from the Alexa with that name. I'm going to call this computer. Okay, I'm going to link it now with the Alexa. I click on the Alexa Assistant. Singing with Amazon. Okay, do you want to link Smart Life with Alexa? Link. Now you will see that the light will go off because it's connected to that socket. Alexa, switch off computer. And the light goes away. Alexa, switch on computer. Excellent. Now I just need to click the button to turn on the light. And it's back. Excellent. As easy as that to connect to the Alexa and integrate it. Let's see what configurations we can do with this switch. We can turn on the offline notification so if the Wi-Fi goes away and we get no communication with the switch, we will be notified on the mobile phone. I'm not going to enable this feature. Then we can configure uh, a scenes here and see when the switch was turned on and off. Here we have all the lock. We can control how the light works. By default, it's indicating if it's on or off. We can change it to indicator left off or indicate switch location. So at night, it will glow when the light is off. Otherwise, it will be turned off. Now the switch is on and the LED is in red. But if we switch it off, it will turn of the LID. I'm going to change the configuration, light mode, switch location, okay. We changed the mode and now when it's switched off, it's glowing in red, so you will be able to find it at night. And when it's power on, the indicator is off. The other mode is going to maintain it always off. Okay, the other configuration we have available is the relay status. It's going to be the relay status after the circuit breaker pop out or there is a power outage. So if we keep the last one, it will remember the last status before there is the power outage. But we can set it, for example, that we want it to be off after a power outage. It's what I'm going to configure. And the last option we have all available on the configuration of the switch is the child lock. Okay, so the idea with this is that we will protect from the child to be electrocuted. So let's say we leave this unplugged. So now it's off. The child games, press the button. 
and nothing happens. Then you want to release the child lock, you press four times, and now it's powered off. Every time you unlock the plug, the child lock is removed. This works to lock the on status and the off status. So now, even if I forget to switch off the socket, it's going to switch off automatically at 1.30. And I can turn it on very easily, telling to the Alexa to turn it on. So we are going to be saving a lot of energy and we will convert this to money. So let's see how much we will save in a year. Now I'm going to connect a socket that has the capability to meter the power consumption and we will see how much energy we are going to save. Okay, I have an energy meter here. I'm going to plug it in between. Good. Okay, I'm going to leave that laptop that is fully charged but connected. This other laptop as well, charging. I'm going to disconnect all the charging things that I have connected so nothing is is charging. I'm going to leave the the speakers on like you will do when you leave the office. And yes, there is no more power consumers. Let's see how much energy we are getting drained. Okay, so when everything is off, we have a power consumption of about 6.5 watts. Okay, I'm refreshing. And I was getting that value more or less. One thing that I usually happens to me is that I left this computer on. Okay, turn it on in a sleep mode. Okay, like this. I'm going to leave it like this and let's see what is the consumption now. So we have around 22 watts when the laptop is connected in a standby mode like this. Okay, so let's do a cool estimation of how much energy we are going to be saving. Okay, and here are the results I got. So we are going to get some energy saving. The 6.5 background idle energy consumption that I have is going to disappear during 15 hours, I'm going to assume, all days. And this is a consumption of 35 watts and this will be a reduction of 11 euros. But we should be considering that the Wi-Fi wall socket is going to consume energy. What I found in internet is this kind of plugs consume around 1.5 watts hour. So this consumption will be during 24 hours, 365 days, and this will be a consumption of 13.14 watts and 4 euros. But I should consider as well that sometimes I left the laptop idle. I'm going to consider two hours, uh, 22 consumption during working days, and this will be reducing three euros as well. So finally, we got a reduction every year of 10 euros. So that means that the Wi-Fi wall socket is going to pay itself in two years. I hope you have found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the like button. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.